I sure do wish I could find some old thimbles somewhere. Sarah Ann Bilbo is proud of her quilts. She should be. In her 86 years, she's made many of them. Once upon a time, a quilt was a handy way to keep warm. It was cheap. You made them from scraps and remnants. That's the way Mrs. Bilbo started. Then she just kept on. She likes to make them. How many quilts do you figure you've made all together? I said it'd be 500. I doubt it. Doubt whether that would get it or not. Because I've been a piecing and making now. And I, when I went into business, you see, a quilting for the public and selling quilts, that's been thir uh, be 14 years. 14 years I've been making them and selling. But all out of my quilted for then, you see, with a big family. Nowadays, people don't have to make quilts or really even use them, but they do. To hear of all the people who are waiting for one of her quilts, you could get the idea that they're needed more than ever. Why do you think that people are interested in having quilts nowadays? <laughs> oh, just past times. And they come from West Georgia, right over here in Baltimore. I don't know how many from me for cover, you know. And ain't nobody got no cover, Holly. Old women come in and say, I ain't got a quilt in my house. To be perfectly honest, Mrs. Bilbo is having trouble of a very serious nature. See that? Thimbles. Mm. Remember the saying, they just don't make them like they used to? Well, she says they don't. She just can't get good thimbles. Well, what's wrong with the new thimbles? The new ones, is not, these are not deep enough to catch that eye, and they slide off, you see. And the old ones will hold. And I've just worn mine out. They're just full of holes, and I can't use them. My old ones, you know. I wore them out. I've been trying to find me some old ones. I'd be willing to pay somebody, you know, for them if I could find them. These is a quarter a piece and ain't worth bringing home. It's hard to quilt with holes in your thimbles. It slows you down. Mrs. Bilbo was sick for a while last year and didn't make a quilt for about six months. Then, when she did get started, the thimbles held her back. In 1977, she only made 42. <laughs> With Sarah Ann Bilbo in Carrollton, Georgia, this is Andy Johnston. If somebody's got a decent thimble, this lady needs some. <laughs>